Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming back to these videos where we have English every day. So, of course, uh, I have a different kind of English video every day, sometimes song videos, sometimes reading videos. So please stay tuned for all those videos every day. But twice a month, I interview a student. Uh, well, once a month, I interview one of my university students. And then once a month, I interview either a parent of one of my students or an adult student. So stay tuned. I have a one student who's coming back for a second interview, she was interviewed once as a parent, and now she's going to be interviewed as an adult student. So, uh, but today I have Aoi. She's one of my students at uh, GPWU, so Guma Prefecture Women's University. She's a first year student, and I'll explain a little bit more about why I chose her later. So I should explain the, of course, in this interview series, I usually have five sections. First, I introduce the student and explain about them. And then they teach us about their hometown. And then the third part, I explain why I decided to invite them for this interview series. And the fourth part, she'll give us her study advice, hopefully to make all of us better students. And the fifth part, how to be better this year or be better every day, as I always say. So now in this, before I hand the mic over to her, if I open up, yes, so she is again, Awi, and she comes from... Uh, Famous place here. Let me see here where we go. Yes. So uh, this is our, of course, our slice of pie page that we're growing, trying to help uh, students learn every day. And this is the Akaiwa school that I own in Tagaseki Guma, Apple Pie English School. That's why our slice of pie page is, of course, a slice of pie. But so for Aoi, she comes from uh, here. Wait, sorry. Here's the prefectures. So, so far, we've interviewed a lot of people, Guma, Tochigi, Hokkaido, Ishikawa, but we haven't interviewed anybody from Tochigi yet, I think. This will be our first time to learn about Tochigi. So, of course, this is her hometown. I'll link this in the show notes. She's from Utsunomiya here. And these are some pictures of food from her hometown. Yes, and uh, she might mention what these are. <laughs> so, and uh, and here's some famous sightseeing on TripAdvisor, some famous sightseeing from her hometown. Uh Looking at this today, I realized I want to go there again. <laughs> so I've been there on business trips, but never for uh, just sightseeing. Okay, so let me close this. Okay, so Aoi, please teach us about where you're from. Uh, my favorite, my hometown is famous Gyoza. Gyoza, um, in, it is known to Gyoza town, my hometown. And uh, in November, and there is a big event of gyoza, and many people visit us in my hometown. And the big event is many store gyoza store is sell in in event, and we can enjoy and buying gyoza and eat different gyoza taste in different shop. And so we can, and it is popular. And, and some people not live in Tochigi and visitor and many different prefecture visitors come here and many people be in a line, big line. <laughs> so we can enjoy it, boil gyoza and fried gyoza. And many taste and different gyoza. Gyoza and we can buy and we can, there is the only event in year, once, once a year. Mm -hmm. So many people is looking forward to say, to buying gyoza. Mm. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, good. Yeah. Gyoza for, um. Americans, at least, I think most most don't know what it is. My American friends who come to Japan are surprised by it. 
luckily I in graduate school I ate goza for the first time that uh, I had a Chinese classmate and he's and I did a favor for him he said how can I repay your favor and I said oh well, just make something from your home country so he actually made gyoza by hand for me and I had never seen it before so luckily I had that experience because most of the foreigners coming to Japan were surprised by it. they know ramen it's quite famous but uh, I'm surprised that gyoza isn't more famous I guess it would be like Chinese ravioli uh, I think uh, like ravioli is Italian of course it's uh, things wrapped into a shell you can research on the internet but I think it's the for me anyway, and for most of my Americans, after they've eaten it, it's the favorite thing about going to a ramen shop in Japan. So, of course, uh, because the gyoza is a great side dish, which I'm surprised it's not more famous in America. Uh, but yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's very famous for her hometown. They have lots of stores nearby. Let's see. So third part, I'll explain why I invited her today. So, of course, she's in uh, many of my classes, actually. <laughs> so uh, I hope that I hope she's happy with that. But this spring, this fall, she's in two of my classes. In the spring, she was in two of my classes as well. And in one of the classes in the spring, it was a writing essays class. And she was actually the second best in the class. Uh, she did 90%, but not just in that class. In almost all the classes, she tries hard. And uh, she takes advice. Uh, like when I give them advice, like I remember one presentation. She was so happy. I think she was the best presentation that day. But exactly, I gave them advice, like practice makes perfect. Make sure... You practice a lot and you get your timing right. And she did. She got her timing, I think, in that class, the best that day. So uh, she took my advice and she, uh, as we say in English, ran with it. She used it. So, okay. So now in the fourth part of the interview, so I, she will give us her study advice. What makes her a better student every day? Mm, so I think reviewing the class and the learning is first is the best way and in when I was really learning the English and in that day is reviewing and reading textbook and speaking textbook and learning reviewing and in my parents' cars driving, when I was driving, is I listening to English music on CD. And so speak uh, listening skill is the good and more better, better. And so listening Music is so good way in listening test. Okay, uh, that's good. I agree. So put, as I say often, uh, put the English into your everyday life. It's like uh, when I lived in America trying to learn Spanish, uh, I was a, I was maybe a bad student because I couldn't put it into my everyday life. When I lived in Spain and learned Spanish. It was like I, I ate in Spanish or I went to the grocery store in Spanish or I did everything in Spanish. I watched TV shows in Spanish because there's no um, subtitles and there's English back then in Spain. So that's great. Uh, great advice. Yeah, put it into your everyday life. The fifth part, of course, is how to be better every day. As I always tell my students, it's not about you uh, versus your classmate or you versus uh, uh, some grade or some score. It's about making yourself better every day. Am I better than I was yesterday? or last week, or last year, or 10 years ago. So in the end, I ask the same question to every student, every person in this interview. How do you want to make yourself better this year? Uh, for example, physically, like healthy was, or emotionally, or mentally. So, Aoi, how about you? How do you plan to make yourself better this year? I get your link myself when I was very studying and very hard doing something and I when I was very doing hard after that I eat sweets <laughs> I can happy I be ha I'm happy and so I'm doing more better next day 
and I often send send my uh, send my mail with my friends and my happy feeling and sad and exciting and surprising feeling and share my with my friends and so when by writing email the I can understand my feeling better and sort out my feeling. So my emotional is better and I can calm down. That's good. Yeah, there's a famous, that's good. There's a famous quote. I don't remember who said it, but it it's, goes something like this to paraphrase is, if we share our joys with our friends, our joys are doubled. If we share our sorrows, our sadness with our friends, our sadness are halved. So you can double your joy and 50% and decrease your sadness by sharing them with your friends and family. Uh, good advice. Thanks again. So everybody, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and share these videos. We want more people to le learn more English every day. So thanks again to Aoi for coming today. So please say thank you in the comment section for her. And I hope her advice helps you in your learning journey. So see you next time. Thank you.